the surgery treatment modality group of the Korean GOG develop a surgical manual to facilitate clinical trials and to improve communication between investigators by standardizing and precisely describing operating procedures. Part of the manual is this operation record form or the ORF for ovarian tubal and peritoneal cancers. This has been established on the basis of the synoptic operative template for ovarian cancer of the National Cancer Center of Korea. So this standardized ORF such will encourage the surgeon to record all required information and surgical procedures. My father. And when informed that my mother would cook kare kare he would come two hours earlier to eat lunch with us. He claimed that my mother made it. we cannot do. And so we asked, am I still the medical professional I want to be? Am I still the medical professional I want to be? Am I still the medical professional I want to be? Am I still the medical professional I want to be? And while you're doing that, if there's any emergency care that's needed, provide it. He's in shock. Bigyan nyo ng IV fluids. And always, always, you have to be fair. Um, so I have to pause here because um, this is this part is very um, relevant, um, not just in terms of admitting of patients, but in vaccination. Um, I can still remember certain politicians. Certain politicians were given um high priority for Pfizer vaccines few months ago, while those who really need them, such as those people with comorbidities, didn't receive it. So that's really the sad reality these days. Contrary to my values, they come to you and say. Doctor, bigyan mo ng ivermectin. Eh, according to my value, ivermectin is not useful. So I can refuse. Um, so here, no, um, so the issue on, on ivermectin is that many people are, are misinformed. And as physicians, um, we must know that um, this drug should not be used, it should not be used to cure um, COVID. And when you're using it, you're actually doing more harm than good to the patient. And in fact, if you um, search in Google about ivermectin, almost instantly the first page gives you um, different warnings um, about using it from different sources. So um, educating, educating the patient and people who are not um, in, med in the medical field is very important. All of the above, why are you complaining? Why do you want to profit from another's suffering? Um, so um, this is an issue among doctors and even med students. Um, when you ask some med students um, why they, they want a certain specialty in medicine, some will actually answer you about um, good compensation. Um, although this is um, not inherently a bad reason, because going to medical school is not cheap, but using money as your drive is not... Um, it's not only attainable in medicine, there are many other ways um, to do that. Um, you can even be a, a you can even start a YouTube career, um, you can be a streamer. Uh, my, my point here is um, we must set our priorities straight. And in medicine, uh, money is not um, the number one priority. It should not be the number one priority. Pleasure, any MDP, to colleagues, to the public. Understand that our colleagues are asked to perform duties we ourselves are unwilling to do. Ayoko gumamot ng COVID. Sinong gagamot? Di yung colleague ko. So I should perform other activities naman to support them. Take over some of their duties. Maybe I can treat the non-COVID. Maybe I can make cotton balls. Maybe I can feel records. And not be absent. Because in being absent, then you're overworking those who are present. So, um, so we were taught um, ever since in first year med that medicine is not a solo work. So no man is an island and that it requires a very 
a good teamwork, good ang medicine. So um, we must learn how to work with other people, especially now in the pandemic, no? And we must understand that everyone is under stress, especially these times. And so having a difficult or being a difficult colleague is already too much to handle. So we must make sure that you and your colleagues are in the same wavelengths and that you understand each other's roles. And together work to build a better future for those who come after us and to honor those we lost along the way. Thank you. Um, so that was a really good lecture by Doc Tan Alora. Um, she really brought up the bioethical issues in medicine during this pandemic. And it really felt like um, Doc Menezes' bioethics lecture. And that will wrap up my reaction for this lecture. And thank you for watching.